Hey there folks, this is Sean with the New Columbia Movement. Today we're going to be taking a look at Snapchat, and why the heck is it so degenerate? Let's jump into it. Welcome back to our channel. If you like our content, please consider subscribing down below. You can also follow us on any of our social media pages linked in the description. This is going to be the first video in a new series of videos, New Columbia Shorts, where we break down in short segments a variety of different topics. Today we're taking a look at Snapchat and its degeneracy. Now if you're not familiar with Snapchat, first of all, consider yourself lucky. Snapchat is a social media platform that lets you take and send pictures and videos to your friends. You can scroll over to maps, you can dock yourself if that's what you like to do. It allows you to share your location with friends. You can also share stories with a network of followers, but the main theme we want to take a look at today are these featured stories down below. As we scroll through here, you can just see some of the stories that are being featured by the Snapchat platform. This is available for anybody to look at whenever they get on Snapchat. Now you may be asking yourself, okay, come on, is it really that bad? Well, that depends on who you are. If you consider yourself a man of morals and principles, yeah, it is that bad. Go ahead and take a look at this compilation I put together. I didn't go digging for any of these stories. This is the kind of stuff that you can find every day when you get on. Is OnlyFans the world's most popular job? Start our OnlyFans. Start our OnlyFans. Start our OnlyFans. I've only been doing this for a month and I've made over a hundred thousand dollars. A former Essex police officer quit to make an OnlyFans where she went from being underpaid to making 2.3 million dollars. Hey, what's up, it's 616, shorty bad. All this sparks an important conversation about modern sex work. Are you sorry for slavery? Personally? I mean, like, as a white person, I, I put on that burden because I'm, I'm attached to that history and I'm attached to that narrative. Like My friend's high school best friend from when they were really young came to visit um, and she thought she was straight, but we met and then we sat together. And my friend is not. Hold on. Now the science of sexuality is pretty clear. We definitely know that homosexuality has nothing to do with this guy. And perhaps most crucially, we know that sexual orientation can't be changed through therapy. Homosexuality is nothing to be ashamed of. No vice, no degradation. No vice, no degradation. No vice, no degradation. I want you to be my girlfriend, and I want Tommy to be my boyfriend. But you can't have two, you could only choose one. That's not true. I'm polyamorous, so I can have more than one. Former porn star Mary Carey says she's officially running for governor of California, telling the people that it's high time, that there's a change in politics. Tell me you have daddy issues without telling me you have daddy issues. My dad thought I wasn't his daughter for three years! I'm not a Today my boyfriend's gonna be rating my outfits from Fashion Nova on a scale from one to 10. So they're gonna be very fun, okay, to try on. Especially cause your girl is plus size, okay? Getting the J and J vaccine today because I've had worse J names enter my body. <laughs> New York Post interviewing me about how much sex I'm having this summer. This is the summer of fucks, not giving a f doing things that f and f***ing a lot. <laughs> play among us. I want a boyfriend. Bah! Put two and two together. I'm gonna try to find a boyfriend on the game. Oh my gosh, if I sleep with him, he's not gonna respect me. Da -da 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 -da. I feel like they will respect you if you make them respect you. I it shouldn't be this whole, oh, I need to wait till this time. I was talking about this the other day. Oh, I need to wait till I've been with somebody for years before even like being exclusive with them. What? What the f Okay, so you may be thinking, yeah, sure, a little weird, but Honestly, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Let's take a look at Snapchat demographics. 90% of all Snapchat users are between the ages of 13 and 24 years old. Yes, kids. Now this is the kind of stuff that's infecting the minds of our youth. As we drift further and further away from truth as a society, and we generally grow apathetic to conviction and traditional ideologies, these are the types of things that kids are gonna latch onto. Is it any wonder that we have a growing number of kids identifying as LGBTQ? Just take a look. Over 15% of Generation Z now identifying. You think that's not a coincidence? When you lack the foundational Christian moral principles in your life, and this is the kind of stuff that you're being exposed to on a regular basis, it's gonna have a net negative effect. Rates of depression are on the rise, rates of suicide are on the rise, alcoholism, 
abuse of drugs, all of this is on the rise. Evidently, there's something seriously wrong with our contemporary culture. Yet anytime we try to attribute it to the dominant and prevailing narratives in society, we're shouted down. We're not allowed to entertain that position. So, what can we do? Well, immediately following the upload of this video, I'm going to be deleting my Snapchat. Now that's not me launching some crusade. But if we do want to fight back against the dominant culture, it requires an individual action. It requires a collection of those individual actions. The more we say no to this kind of stuff, the less we compromise, the less effect it's going to have over us in our everyday lives. Ultimately, a collection of these little individual actions is going to be what shapes our country for the future. It's going to shape the country in a better way. Matthew 5.30 says that if your right hand causes you to sin, then you should cut it off and cast it away. Because it's better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Cut the things out of your life that are the cause for the near occasion of sin. And if you're a parent or guardian, be aware of the kind of things that are out there. Remember folks, if we're going to win this fight in the end, it requires a counter-revolution. It requires the fire of a counter-revolutionary spirit. And it starts with you. Hey, if you like this video, please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe down below. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. God bless.